Hi, this is Shana and this is the weekly update. We're going to take a look into the energy surrounding you this week. So we have three piles to choose from, pile one, pile two and pile three. So take your time to choose your pile. Here we have pyrite, then we have here rose quartz, and this is a little bit of gold. Take your time to choose your pile. You can pause the video if you like, and I will see you in a couple of moments. So if you chose pile number one, this is your reading here with the pyrite. Okay, so we're starting with the tarot cards, and then we'll be moving on to the oracle cards. And the question is, what are the energies surrounding you this week? We have then... Card number one, we have here the Knight of Pentacles. Then we have the Two of Cups. And I want the three cards, but you get four. We have the Empress, and it came out together with the Knight of Wands. Put it like this. I hope you can see it. Yes. Hmm. Wow. I think like the week is going to start like slow, in a slow manner, but you're going to feel good, you're going to feel in power, you're going to feel in control, and it's going to be like an energy that's going to evolve slowly. And here with these two of cups, I find it really interesting because for some of you, you'll be meeting someone special or you're going to spend more time. So you're making time to spend with someone special, right? Could be your partner, could be your boyfriend or girlfriend, or you're meeting someone. You know, if you're single, so this week it could be that you're meeting someone. But what I get here as well um, is also you're making time for yourself. I see like you falling in love with yourself as well. For some of you, this would also be the case. Then we have the Empress and the Knight of Wands. So there's a lot of passion here. So for some of you, it could be that you could get pregnant in this week. If it applies for you, especially if it's something that you've been wanting to do. Um, but if this is something you don't want to, so please take to due precautions, right? It could be that you're very fertile this week. But there's a lot of passion here and there's a lot of creativity. So what I see here, pile number one, not only this could be uh, romantic, you can see this in a romantic way, but I have the feeling this is also when it comes to creativity. You being very creative this week and here with the two of cups, probably you're working also um, with like-minded people. And here with the, with the Knight of Pentacles, this is a very slow moving energy, but it's going steady. It's you making plans, you seeing your goals, you setting your goals and going in that direction steady, right? So you're really making also long term goals and you don't mind taking your time to get there because these goals are getting clearer and clearer. And this week, You'll be very creative. I guess some of you are also like um, pursuing creative endeavors. It could, for some of you, I see even like acting, something to do with acting, or even like if it's more artistic in the sense of um, making an installation or uh, making a creative video. Yeah, kind of an installation video uh, or a video installation or video work something that I'm seeing or getting right now, but also like uh, for some of you, it also has to do with words, writing and uh, expressing. Yeah, self-expression. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Let's narrow it down to self-expression. And there's a lot of healing. There's a lot of understanding, getting together with like-minded people. And um, it's like the life, life is starting to feel better, to feel sweeter. And, you know, and the better it gets, the more motivated you get. And it becomes like an upward spiral, a very positive spiral of energy. And then we have here from your Oracle cards, co-create. So again, creative endeavors. And you're co-creating, by co-creating, not only you're creating with the universe, 
with your higher self, with your guides and uh, so on. You're also creating with other people. So this is a very creative work uh, or a creative week. And not only artistically, but it's you creating your future. I think, pile number one, I have the feeling you want to change your life. We don't see here nothing dramatic like a tower or even a wheel of fortune or something. But it's like something... You see, you're taking over here with the Empress, you're taking over your life in a very beautiful way, in a very peaceful, creative, but also very determined way. And you know you can create it. So now I think this week you're taking your time to really create for yourself a better future, something that has to do with yourself or that expresses who you are uh, better. I hope that grammatic, that grammar was better. <laughs> God. Then we have loyal hearts. How beautiful. 35. And 35, 3 plus 5 is an 8. 8 is 4 plus 4. And here we have a 4. So we have a 4, 4, 4. Hmm. Interesting. Now, the loyal heart can also be a partner, you know, if you have a partner already, it's like you seeing completely eye to eye this week. You really for one another this week. If you still don't have a partner for some reason, then you probably uh, will find one this week or you'll find someone that can become a partner later because uh, we have a bit of slow energy here at first, but there is attraction. There is, um, well, on the love level, this is beautiful. But it can also be like I was saying that you're going to do a lot of creative work. You're planning your life. You are probably wanting to go in a more artistic direction or a creative direction. And you're going to find like-minded people, people that will share your vision and support this creation of a new reality for yourself. Wow, it's really beautiful. You're getting a lot of support. And then we have number 30. Far, far away, creative daydreaming. So you may be a, lo a lot of time or much of your time in your head this week. You know, you're dreaming. But this daydreaming is what's giving you the vision of what to pursue in the future. So this is not wasted time. It's not, you probably have a, hmm, interesting. I'm getting also the, the feeling that some of you have time this week for idle daydreaming you know you're not much in a hurry this week some of you and you can really use that time to envision what you want to do to get yourself inspired and probably some of you also do a lot of meditation this week it could also be a possibility and uh, or it could be that you're falling in love with someone who's far away you know falling in love with someone that you probably don't even have uh, direct contact to. And maybe you'll get direct contact to this person this week. Um, but it's a very romantic week, you know, very creative, very inspired, very romantic, really beautiful. And speaking of which, let's see what the cards have to tell you about your love life, since it's going to be so romantic. Let's get here some cards for pile number one this week. What energies surround your love life this week? Aha, we start with a closed gate. Fate has closed the gate. No more to return. This one now. Then we have luminous. Radiance and vibrant energy shines upon you now. And then we have oh, reunion. Second chances. Getting back together is now possible. Keep an open heart. Wow. So for many of you, pile number one could be that someone from your past is returning. We have a reunion. You know, you thought the gate was closed. You thought, okay, there's no way this uh, will ever be again. And maybe you even thought that you had forgotten about this person, that you were over about this, over this person or that this person was over you or both. Doesn't matter. But suddenly it's like this person comes back or this person re-enters your life and there's a possibility of getting back together. So for many of you, for others of you, 
then it would be like you closing the gate on one story so you can open to another story. And it can be that by closing the gate of um, on one story, you are allowing someone else to come in and it could be someone from your past. One thing that is very important here, because this is the back of the deck, is the, uh, the universe is keeping your love connection safe. And uh, so you are safe. I think here the main message for you is really telling you, you are safe. This is quite important. Somehow I'm feeling this is really important that you know that. And file number one, this was your reading. I hope it resonates. I hope it inspires you. And I wish you a wonderful time full of love. Thank you. So if you chose pile number two, this is your reading. So we're starting with the tarot cards, then we'll be moving on to the oracle cards and we're going to see what are the energies surrounding you this week. So we have the five of pentacles. We have the ace of pentacles. And then we have the ten of pentacles. This is all pentacles energy, earth energy. So it can be that... First of all, it can be that you feel that this week is very like down to earth, is very slow moving, but there's a movement here. This is quite important. There is movement here and it's all about worth. It's all about value. It could be for many of you, it has to do directly with money and career. It could be that you're starting your week, uh, well, it's the end of the month, right? So this is what makes sense for many of you that you're starting the week completely broke or you have debts, or you have like some situations when it comes to your finances, and you feel like, oh my God, you just feel like you're at the end of uh, of the line, so to say. And this could get you really depressed or make you feel worried or make you feel silly, you know, in the sense, oh my God, uh, I don't have this under control. You feel like uh, disempowered, and that's never a good feeling to have. And this makes you feel, again, here with the five of pentacles is always the feeling of being left out in the cold of feeling less than but this is just in your head this is quite important that you know this is just in your head and the cards are telling you really don't panic because this money there's a lot of money coming in you know it may take a little while but they tell you don't panic because there's a new start here there's money coming in there are new opportunities there will be job offers for some of you there will be help that will be offered to you. There will be um, contracts. I see here a lot of contracts, even like loans, something like this, where you get help, where you get the possibility of paying back debts, of paying your, your bills, of uh, getting money for your studies. You will get the opportunity because with the Ten of Pentacles, success is guaranteed. Wealth is guaranteed. So it's a lot of money coming in. At first, you don't really believe it or you're not really seeing it. But during the week, the offers will come. There will be the possibility. You will have access to money. You will. Okay, so the cards are really telling you, don't panic. This is the message for you, pal number two. Don't panic. Money is coming in. Okay, things will get better. They will get a lot better. Then we have here the card blessed number 22 and this is what the cards are trying to tell you the whole time is that you are blessed you're just not realizing it right now you are a very lucky person um and you <laughs> in in germany in german there's an expression um that says you have more luck than than reason or more luck than intelligence, you know, sometimes because uh, people are uh, happy-go-lucky and take risks. Oh, speaking of risks, this is the second card. We have come to the edge, you know, and uh, but they're favored by lady luck and they can come out of very dangerous situations. It's not that you're in a dangerous situation, but you're blessed by luck. And this week, you also feel inspired, you know, to take risks. Maybe some of you are gambling. Maybe some of you... Um, careful with gambling because can become a habit, but uh, maybe you, you know, like a lottery, something like that, and you may make a win of some kind. And um, 
And most of the cards are telling you, you know, no matter how bleak the situation may seem, you know, continue to live, continue to be happy, continue to um, put yourself out there because the situation is going to turn around. You are very, very blessed. Then we have the last card here is crystal magic, creation, dawn, the beginning. So there's a new beginning for you starting this week. There's healing of a situation and there's a new beginning for you. And it's also telling you that there, there's a lot more potential in you and in your situation than you give yourself or the situation credit for, okay? Because you're just in a very negative mindset. But you are, you are a lot more intelligent. You are a lot more talented. You are a lot more able, you know, to for success or for whatever you want to do in life than you are thinking right now. And here we have this little butterfly. So there's already some transformation taking place. Careful, you know, you can be sad, but don't let yourself be dragged down by um, negative thinking. Here's really focus on what you have, focus on what you can, and focus on what is good in your life. Because it's going to become even better. At the end of the week, you'll be on a totally different frame of mind. Yeah, there's only good things coming in. There's really a new beginning for you this week, pile number two. Now, when it comes to love, let's see. What are the energies surrounding you this week, pile number two? Uh, fidelity. Uh, you are the only one your love chooses to be with. Well, in case you've been wondering, there you go. Then we have this here. Ooh, lust. Pure sexual chemistry between you. Unleash the energy. Don't hold back. It's kind of like come to the edge, like that card. And then we have here. Yes, he will be back. Trust and know he will return. So if you are in separation from someone... The cards are telling you that person will return because there's a very, very deep bond, a very deep attraction, a very great chemistry between you and this bond. This person is loyal to you. This person still thinks about you. Then we have here power. True power is liberating and transforming. And with this is like, believe and it will be. This is what I'm getting. You know, liberate any doubts, liberate any sadness. And things will turn around. And if you were wondering, the answer is yes. How wonderful is that? And so pile number two, this was your reading. I hope it resonates. I hope it inspires you. And I wish you a wonderful time full of love. Thank you. So if you chose pile number three, this is your reading. Now... What are the energies surrounding you this week? We're going to start with the tarot cards, then we'll move to the oracle cards. So first of all, we have seven of wands. Then we have the ace of wands. And then we have the seven of pentacles. Oh, and you got another card, the Two of Pentacles here, Seven and the Two of Pentacles. Okay, interesting. Now, let's put it like this so we can have, can see them all in a proper way. There, thank you. Now, um, there's some kind of conflict beginning and during, uh, the, sorry, beginning your week. There's a, a kind of conflict, there's a kind of resistance. There's uh, some, you may have an opponent or it could be a person, could be an institution, something opposing one of your ideas, one of your intentions, you know. Um, and this could even be internal. It could be you, you know, coming up with blockages, you know, blocking your own path, 
you know, coming up, oh, but if this happens and if that happens, um, being a bit negative about it, but it's like it comes from experience, right? And what you're deciding, in, you know, because we, you have suddenly, in order to solve this problem, you have this bright idea. And you're actually, actually very, very passionate about an idea, about a project, about an inspiration you had. It's like you're very passionate, you want to do it, and you're full of energy, but you have to wait. And this may be what really upsets you, is like this because these two energies, like a like a, a contradiction, because Ace of Wands is fast and it's passionate and impulsive, and then we have the the Pentacles energy that's go slow down, easy does it, you know, slow and steady, and uh, and these are and ah funny. That was interesting. What was that? Okay, <laughs> I don't know why it. Let's not ask. So we have here two contradictory energies. We have the wands energy that is really, really fast and the pentacles energy that's really, really slow. And this is what may cause some unrest within you. It's like uh, someone, it's like there's the, an energy blocking your energy, right? And um, could be outside, could be inside, you know, like internal or external. But the thing is, you have to be patient and adapt to the situation. You know, try to keep that fire alive, that passion alive, but being patient at the same time. You really have to be flexible and go with the flow. So the message for you, pile number three, is really go with the flow. Okay, you have to go with the flow this week. You're going to have great insights, ideas, write them down, because when the time is ripe, you can then put this into reality. You can put things in motion. It's like the cards are telling you, prepare everything now. Prepare, you know, use your passion to prepare, to um, look into the details, to, to, um, to really prepare every step of what you want to do. Because when the, the um, situation changes, you know, when the poor opportunity arises, you just go. I hope this makes sense. Is that okay? Yeah. Then we have the card Serendipity, number 18. And we have the card Go This Distance, 47. And funnily enough, they're both nine. Nine. So we have one plus eight, nine. I'm sorry, 4 per 7 is an 11. I cannot count. <laughs> I was seeing the 4 as a 2. Don't ask, don't ask. So, so we have a 9 and an 11. And this is quite important because this is really like the ending of a phase and you're already on the next level. So, what we have here with serendipity is really trusting the... Um, your life, trusting the flow of life, trusting the universe, trusting the manifestations, trusting source, because the signs will come, the opportunity will come. And so with the here go the distance, so be ready to start running. So really, like I was telling you, start preparing yourself, because when the gates open, you have to run, you have to take that opportunity. And it's like, keep alert. You know, stay alert because the opportunities will come. It, it will seem like it takes ages, but uh, opportunities will start coming at the latest the end of the week. So stay alert, stay patient, and you will see the signs. And the moment you see them, you just run. And then we have this beautiful card, 39, and it says shimmer, glamour, confidence, allure, and charisma. And it's like the card is telling us uh, that this is the image you should give to the outside world. And maybe it is even the, uh, the, um, the image you're already giving to the outside world of self-confidence. Of someone, even if we go back here, someone that is ready to fight for their beliefs, to fight for what they think is right. You are ready to stand your ground. And keep your light shining bright. You're a beacon of light this week. And 
the cards are telling you, this is how you're being seen, keep it up. Even if sometimes, you know, it could be some of you are crumbling <laughs> on the inside, but be that beacon of light, the beacon of hope or the beacon of, uh, the beacon of, not a beak, but a beacon of um, determination. It's like, you know the way, right? For other people, because you'll be inspiring other people as well and not just yourself. But when it comes to love, what are the energies surrounding you this week? Pile number three, when it comes to love. And for some of you, you are you undergoing a glow up. Many of you are undergoing a glow up. You're buying new clothes, maybe getting another, uh, a hairdo. And you're just looking gorgeous, beautiful. And probably at the beginning of the week, you weren't really counting on it. But some of you are really like undergoing a glow up hairdo, clothes, whatever it is, suddenly you're just like, oh my God, if, you know, you already look good, but at the end of the week, you're going to look even better. And that's, oh my God, <laughs> no one can stop you. Now, when it comes to love, just a second, we have balance, fair and balanced energy. Creating harmony for a strong future. Hmm, interesting, right? You're preparing yourself for a strong future, also in love. Then we have fidelity. You are the only one your love chooses to be with. And then we have this one. Oh, heartache. Pain and distress will only come from this love. Best protect your heart. Hmm. So there are some issues that still have to be handled when it comes to your love life. There's some balance that has to be achieved. I'll get you another card here. Yeah, meditation. So there is some balance that you still have to achieve. Quiet reflection allows you to discover the soul answers you seek. And again, with the seven of pentacles, this goes along with it pretty well. There's someone... That although they're very loyal to you, but there's something that is not right. And this would go to the glamour again. With the glamour, you know, it could be that someone is pretending to be something they're not as well. Or they're not communicating properly. But there's some balance you have to find in your love life. Because something is not right. Something is causing you distress. And that shouldn't be. So they're also telling you to go within because you already know the answer, actually. Oh, you get the same message as like pile number two, I think, or pile number one, I don't remember, that you're protected. Okay, and your connection is also protected. You may be undergoing a crisis, but you're protected. If you are single, maybe this has to do with someone that you have a crush on or you're interested in. There's something that is not quite right. And there may be like a misinformation or miscommunication as well, causing this distress. But your person seems to like you, to really like you. But there's something here that's not quite right. But whatever it is, you're being protected. Okay, so you just need some time to really um, see things clearly. And so pile number Three, this was your reading. I hope it resonates. I hope it inspires you. And I wish you a wonderful time full of love. Thank you.